<sighs> a peaceful drive in the countryside with nothing but the sound of nature. The whistling wind blowing gently through the leaves of the trees. The sweet bird song as they sing their merry and beautiful tunes to each other. Oh, it's so peaceful. It's so tranquil. But not for long! Hello there all you tubies and tubeds and welcome back to Retrospects. Now as you saw in the intro there we have a nifty little new pickup truck. Now I'm just going to explain how that came to be because it's kind of came into its own existence by pure luck really. Because originally I wanted to build a vehicle that could be modular. So I was going to build multiple bodies to snap on to multiple different types of chassis. So for instance I built this chassis which is the suspension big wheel chassis for sort of off-roaders the idea was to put one block on the back here and you've got your two seats you've got your engines and all you would do is snap a new body on the top of this now because this is the same size chassis as the next one which is the thrust chassis so this one's capable of flying you would be able to snap the same body onto this different chassis and the plan was to build several chassis for multiple different bodies and then you'd have interchangeable modular vehicles but I realised pretty soon that the, the uh, weld tool did not want to play the way that I wanted it to. And when I went to weld things to this, even though they fitted, clearly they fitted, it would not allow me to put them on there. Now a lot of you will have experienced that and it is rather frustrating. Axelot, get your act together and sort it out. Um, but then I realised that, that wasn't going to be possible, so I scrapped it. That idea was, just like these creations, binned. So, what next, I hear you say? Well, this. This is what I'm calling the pick up, up and away truck. This is a pickup with a difference. I thought if I can't have multiple chassis and multiple bodies and modular vehicles, then can I make one that does everything that I wanted to do in one? And this was born. So this, like I say, is my new vehicle. Now I haven't gone with the channel colors this time. I've gone with something a little bit more menacing <laughs> I don't I don't know why sorry um, but I've gone with the black and the red classic colors a little bit of danger on the back there this thing is awesome it looks pretty cool let's get into the driver's seat and I'll show you how it works so it's a very capable off-roader you've got your little lights on the top there which turn as you turn the steering Unfortunately, I've gone for very large wheel arches on the front, and the reason for that is because those wheels do need some space to turn. So, it looks a little bit odd, but it does the trick. And it's got one suspension glitch in there underneath for steering assist, and you do kind of need it because it is quite a heavy build with all the thrusters on it. However, it means that it does do nifty little donuts, and you can spin this thing around with very little chance of knocking it upside down. Uh, that comes when you start flying it. Driving it? you don't usually have a problem. So, capable driver, definitely. That has been proven 100%. You cannot do a J-turn because of that suspension glitch, which prevents you going back in the angle you want to. You do this sideways slide instead. So you can't do a proper J-turn. However, small price to pay for what it does next. So as I said, I wanted something that could not only drive, which just clearly can, but can also fly. So all those thrusters underneath are obviously there for a reason let's show you what we've got so under the front we have thrusters under the back we have thrusters we have them in the middle as well so when i press the t key i go directly up as you can see when i press the g key i go forward and some of you will recognize that this is the flight method that i use for the interceptor it's the one that i was taught by the scrap mechanics and he uses it in his builds it does the trick it's very good for flying vehicles and that is simply by mapping the keys uh, to T G F and H and the arrow keys and what that then means is you can map those two buttons as you can see those buttons on the floor in the passenger seat there and they do all the controls of the thrusters so 
as I said, if I press T, we go directly up. If I press G, we go forward. If I press F and H, we turn around with the uh, thrusters that are behind the wheels. When I press, and let's go in the air to demonstrate this one, when I press the up arrow, I will roll forward or pitch forward. When I press the down arrow, I will pitch backwards. And when I press, oh, can we do this? Nearly, you nearly had me there. You nearly had me there. And when we press the left and right keys, let's get some height for this one because I get the feeling this isn't going to go to plan. When I press the left and right arrow keys, I can do barrel rolls. Okay, not the fastest in the world, but I don't think I'll fit any more thrusters under there. But I can do those nifty little barrel rolls. No trees around, that's cool. Oh, there was, but we missed it. So, capable flyer, capable driver. I think you will agree. So this thing is definitely an all-rounder as far as vehicles go. And like I say, you can control it quite easily. So it's the first vehicle I've built that uses three complete sets of controls. The AWSD to drive in drive mode and the TGFH and arrow key combination in order to fly. So definitely took a while to perfect this and get the weight distribution right. But I think you'll agree it was well worth the effort.
Um, as you will see on the back there, there is this nifty little tail and wing combination. And I did that with a simple uh, logic gate underneath there, which trips the sensor when it's inactive. So when I take off, the sensor becomes inactive at eight blocks. And then when it does, these wings pop out, the lights on the timers go on, and the little tail, which was part of the tow bar there, pops out as well. So we get this nifty little looking tail and wing combination, which was an afterthought, but I think it adds that little bit of extra something to it. And uh, yeah. Let me spin that around. And I'm not good, as good at this trick flying thing as, uh, as a scrap mechanic, but I will do my best to demonstrate this for you. Let's let's go up here. Flip it over and away we go. Yeah we go. Spin it, spin it. I do wish that Axolot would add a uh, chase cam to the uh, vehicles when you're in them would make flying them a lot easier um, okay can I do a forward roll of course I can multiple forward rolls Let's level it out level it out oh it's gonna crush it it's gonna crush it land it yes beautiful landing yet again so there it is that is my pick up up and away truck definitely a tricky little truck to drive but more than capable doing its backwards sideways uh, little diagonal reverse there and uh, a little light turning on the top just add that little extra touch so i hope you like it this as i say took a little while to build i did wonder whether it was enough to have a video on its own i think it came out pretty cool so i decided it would have um, and it will be in the workshop for you to try it's 100 percent vanilla so you do not need any mods in order to play this which is fantastic i very nearly turned to mods because i could have hidden those thrusters a lot better had i have done so but decided no i wanted this to be accessible for all of you so i've gone for a vanilla build entirely so quite impressive when you consider the size of the parts i've had to use uh, but yeah there it is the pickup up and away this has been a fun build to make it's been a fun video to make and i hope you guys like it so if you did like this video as always why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more retro specs and until next time see you soon and bye for now Oh yeah, nailed it.